What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at the Arsenal FC club pack. So they finally added club packs, right? Now I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I don't like about it. I think it's disappointing, it's a disappointing pack, but I am going to do a full training guide of all these players. I'm going to do a review in-game of Arteta and I just wanted to talk and explain what this new manager is. So as you can see here, we did buy it, we did get donations on stream, um, thanks to the boys for doing that. This is what it comes with. Saka, Odegaard, Roy, Saliba, Havertz, Ben White, Calafiori, David Rea, Timber, Party, and of course Trossard, right? But these players are not really that great, man, to be honest with you. Before you buy this pack, just take a look at the cards. And, and listen, if you're a starting off or you're an Arsenal fan and you want this, I'm not saying to buy it or don't buy it. I'm just saying to you is that there are better versions of these cards that have either been released recently or that will potentially be released in the future as well. The big thing with these cards is that a lot of them have low player levels, right? So if you look here, right, at Saka, his stats are quite decent, but he's only got 23 levels. It's going to be the same with Declan Rice. Declan Rice has actually got 27 levels. You do have to train on the rest of his stats. He's down as a box-to-box. -box. As I said, I will do a full in-depth review of these cards and of these player levels and stuff like that with all the training, progression, everything. But it is going to cost you 1,500 coins, boys. That's what it's going to cost, right? So we actually did get this on stream. I'll show you here now um, that we did get this on stream here. So as I said, right, this was earlier on our stream, 1,500 coins, and it gets you everything that you see here. Obviously, the pick of it is going to be the likes of Saka, the likes of Declan Rice. They're fine cards, Les. It's nothing got to do with the cards. They just have low levels. But I, I do think that the big thing is going to be Arteta. That's going to be the huge thing where a lot of people are going to be like happy to get Arteta and look to kind of, you know, continue the meta. This is going to be the new meta from now on. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be the new meta. We have gone and we're going to just take out a brand new gameplay squad here and we're just going to test this out. As I said, this gameplay video will come, right? But I just wanted to show you some of the differences within the game, right? With the likes of the new Mikel Arteta and the likes of maybe Alonso or Deschamps, which a lot of people are continuing to use, right? So you're just seeing here a very basic formational change or a very basic kind of setup change between Deschamps or Alonso with the new Mar Ar Arteta, right? So I'm just going to fast forward and show you the team that we actually had here. So this is just kind of like a fun team that you can have with Arteta, right? Now, as I said, I will do a deep dive into the players. I haven't really these trained up yet. We just played a couple of matches, right? Jorginho, who you get for free, he's actually a beast, man. We were beasting with him. Eight matches played, 13 goals. We'll show you the build for him as well in a separate video. We're going to do a review on him, right? It's just a bit of a fun hybrid team. You've got Calafiori, Seaman, Vieira, and Perez, and Jack Wilshere there. And the rest of the players are going to be kind of be lined up, right? So as I said, with Saka, he's going to be an okay card that can play a lot of different positions. But the big thing for getting this pack for 1,500 coins, and I'm not going to complicate it, is going to be playing meta and going to be playing the way that the game really wants you to play. And that is going to be because Mikel Arteta now has a double booster. So he's going to give a plus one to acceleration and to tight possession. He has his 88 long ball counter, as you see there. And of course, he'll have his coaching affinity. But the big thing is going to be his acceleration and his tight possession, right? As you see there. Now, that's going to mean that if you're using Arteta compared to the Champs here, you're going to see here that the Champs is going to basically only have one booster, which is going to be the plus one speed. He still has his long ball counter. So if we pick the Champs here, just to give you an example, right? And we're to go into Jorginho stats. You will see that Jorginho has got 84 tight possession, 84 acceleration. He's got 95 finishing. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, it's a decent card, but obviously we don't have that 85 type possession, which is the threshold. We don't have that 85 acceleration, which is a threshold. And essentially what you're going to be able to do now because of the double booster to Mikel Arteta is you are going to have Jorginho there with 85 and 85 to acceleration and type possession because of his double, play, double booster for the managers. So I do think that that's going to really not shake up the meta too much, I don't think it's going to be a huge, huge thing um, for people, but I do feel as if it's going to be something that people will probably look at over time. Um, so yeah, and let's, sorry I'm moving my webcam all around as well, man. There's people robbing my videos left, right, and center, so I had to switch my webcam so that they don't just con constantly just paste over it. But uh, yeah, man, you'll always have people that don't season their chicken and pee, standing, pee sitting down, so it is what it is. Ben White, Calafiori, Timber... 
they're solid at the back as well but it is essentially just going to be that whole video is about this lads is it worth the 1500 coins for the players no it's not right for the players it's not going to be worth it um you know with the players you don't have any end game level player here um you know even if we were to train up saka right with 23 levels or we we're to train up any of these guys here havertz party any of these timber is probably the pick of them and he only has 18 levels that's the problem with this pack now you think back to the Bayern pack the barca pack i do think that we will get new versions of those but it is essentially 1500 coins for no big time player and you remember back lads with the champs right that was the French pack, man. If you re remember back these, where you had the Champs, you had your trainers, and you had big time Griezmann, who was insane. You also had Shua Mene, you had Fafana that were really good, Kamavinga, Dembele. It was a very, very, very nice pack. And you got 40,000 trainer programs. So it seems that they've kind of pulled that back a little bit. And obviously Griezmann was probably the pick of them there as well. Like, I still use Griezmann now. I still use this Griezmann a lot. Like, he's an absolute monster. Like, one of the best cards that I have... I would say that he's probably in my top 20 players ever in the game. He's just insane. So, yeah, it is a bit disappointing, man. I'll be honest with you. The double booster does kind of obviously make a difference, but it is a bit of a disappointment one as well, especially that he doesn't have a double proficiency. Like, he literally only has this team playstyle proficiency here, long ball counter. And obviously, people are going to use it for the acceleration and tight possession boost as well. But let me know what you guys think. Is it a spin or a skip? And I will do a full review on the gameplay as well. Long ball counter. It's super, super simple to play with long ball counter, man. And it is the meta for a reason. So I will do an updated meta version of Mikel Arteta with gameplay. But it's going to take me a little, bit, a little bit of time to edit it and get the clips. I have a load of it done already from today's stream. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.